The Hidden Truth About Manifestation, number two in the series. Uh, I already started this series, The Hidden Truth of Manifestation. We talked about that and we focused a lot. We talked about a lot of things, but we focused uh, on the universe is not arbitrary. Um, I told you that there was a three-step process to manifesting a better, more blissful, more prosperous, more spiritually uh, empowering life. And um, so we're going to talk uh, today about There Is No Spoon. Before we get into that, let me explain to you what this channel is about. This channel is about me giving you the tools. I come on here and I talk about subjects, and that is to get you motivated to use the tools, because without using the tools, it's virtually impossible to accomplish anything. So you can go to uh, thunderwizard.com. You have the Warrior 90 Day Lightning Qigong, which is the most powerful energy practice on the planet, in my opinion and in my experience. And um, we've got books, audiobooks.thunderwizard.com. Uh, click on the U.S. site if you're in another country so you can see all of my books. And uh, especially the Shamanic Secret Commandment to a Perfect Life. That is an essential book for what we're talking about. Interdimensional Meditation Course. All right, so let's get back to the hidden truth about manifestation. There is no spoon. I told you in the last video that there were three things you had to do in order to manifest. First one is you have to have a clear desire, not an intention. That is an intellectual arbitrary concept. If your desire is not attached to your intention, it's meaningless. Desire is something that comes from the soul. You can say God is love. God is actually desire. That's why the goddess who created the earth is named Maya. Illusion. Illusion comes from desire. So uh, the first thing you need to know is have a clear desire connected to your soul about what you want. The second thing that you must do is you must be able to access the fifth dimensional probability state, which is beyond the fixed three dimensional state which we are in. In order to access that fifth dimensional probability state, you must do energy work and meditation to shift your body, to shift the neurons of your brain, to shift your energy so you can operate from that, that neutral space which is not attached but is filled with desire and is filled with higher level emotions. That can only be done through energy work my energy practice, I think, is a great one, but it doesn't matter. You can do whatever energy practice or meditation you want. The third thing that you must do is you must take appropriate action after you have identified your desire, then gone to the higher dimensional, fifth dimensional probability state and, and located exactly what your desire is, then when you come back into the third dimension, you must follow that up by taking the appropriate action, which will kickstart the manifestation process from the fifth dimensional probability state into the fixed third dimensional state. Your reality is being manifested one nanosecond at a time. It's like one slide in front of the other. You experience that as the flow of time. It's an illusion. Time is actually space, but you know your, your life moves forward and it manifests every nanosecond based on probabilities in the fifth dimension. If you are stuck, if you are stuck in your fixed idea of who you are, of uh, your, what you've been programmed, which by the way, that's not an easy thing to let go of. But your idea of who you are, my name is so-and-so, I am this, life is that, you know, and you have all of these judgments and beliefs and assumptions. Those keeps you fixed. Your brain records all of those things and keeps repeating them back to you. That's the job of the brain, to keep you fixed in the third dimension. So to go beyond that, you must not be attached to your three-dimensional reality. The only way to do that is through meditation and energy work. 
So uh, once you once you come back from the fifth dimension after having you know seen the probability you want to manifest, you must then follow through on your desire by taking action towards that. That kickstarts the fifth dimensional uh, probability um, state to then manifest in a fixed three-dimensional reality. Right? I think I've repeated myself now. So let's talk about there is no spoon. Remember that from the Matrix? He says, you must not try to, to bend the spoon. That, of course, is impossible. You must, you must realize the one truth. And Neo says, what is that truth? And the little boy says, that there is no spoon. That the spoon does not move, but that you move. So this is the truth of your reality. There is no fixed reality. There is no money. There is no whatever it is that you want. That doesn't exist. It's not fixed. If you are in a state of poverty and you want to be in a state of prosperity, prosperity is not outside of you. There is no prosperity. You are the one that molds yourself to the probability of prosperity or poverty. It is you that moves, not the world. The world doesn't move. The world that you know you don't attract money to you money doesn't flow to you because money doesn't exist there is no spoon you believe that the spoon exists and then in order to change your relationship to the spoon change your relationship to prosperity you move you move within yourself doing a bunch of things. First and foremost, you know what your true desire is. Your desire will motivate you to move. The second is you do the energy work. You do the meditation. You do the Qigong. You do uh, whatever the, the spiritual practices that takes you to the fifth dimensional probability state. And then you take the appropriate action. That appropriate action is movement. It is, not, it is not the spoon that moves. It is not the spoon that bends. It is you. You are the one that bends. And if you remember in the movie, he's got the spoon up in front of him and, and he makes it bend and he sees the little kid. The little kid is faced right in front of him and then somebody grabs his attention and he looks back and then the spoon is between him and the kid. And the, 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 the meaning of that is that the spoon didn't move at all. But he, his perception of the spoon moved, which made it look to him like the spoon was bending out of the way. When he might have been right there, you know, that kid might have not seen the spoon move at all. He might have just been seeing a spoon. But he bent around it. He, his perception bent around the spoon. Your perception has to bend around whatever it is you think is fixed. You think you're poor. You think you're sick with cancer. You think that you're unhappy. You think that you're miserable. You think that you're lonely. You think that you're unsuccessful. You think you're unlucky. Whatever it is that you think. Of course, I'm talking about all the things that you want to change. If you are filled with bliss and happiness and prosperity and love, you might, not want, you want, to, you might want to continue, you know, manifesting that reality but the things you don't want the spoon that's in front of you between you and whatever it is that you want the spoon isn't going to move your your lack of money isn't going to move your poverty isn't going to move you, none of those things are going to move you have to move because none of those things are outside of you anyway your poverty is inside of you your prosperity is inside of you your desire will move you beyond your fixed third dimensional state. Your desire tells you where you want to go. Meditation is the vehicle that takes you there to the probability state. 
and then your actions in the physical reality will kickstart and and tell the probability state what to manifest in your fixed 3D reality. There is no spoon. There is no poverty. There is no prosperity. There is no money. There is no sickness. There is no health. There is only what you choose from the the infinite numbers of probability states in the fifth dimension. So the real question is, how do you get yourself out of the fixed third dimensional state into the fifth dimensional state to be able to do that? Go to thunderwizard.com and subscribe to the Warrior 90 Day Lightning Qigong. Press play, follow my instructions. I guarantee you things will shift for you. I guarantee you that. Every single person that has followed all of my directions consistently their lives have changed for the better. If you want that, that's what this channel is about. Go to thunderwizard.com, subscribe to the Warrior 90 Day Lightning Qigong. You'll get access to the most powerful energy practice on the planet. You'll, you can learn about it there. I won't take the time to explain to you the three energy system of Qi, Kundalini, and the lightning heart energy of the heart center. You'll also have access to the interdimensional meditation course, which will teach you how to completely leave the third dimension whenever you want. Go to the fifth dimension, confer with higher dimensional beings, see the probability state and work directly with it. You'll have access to the manifestation mastery course, where you learn how to treat this 3D reality as a vending machine. You can tell it what to manifest for you. And then you'll have the access to the Mastery of Shamanism course. All of that is here, the Warrior 90 Day Lightning Qigong at thunderwizard.com. All right, so that's it. There is no spoon. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.